with a tremendous ninth round knockout over Anthony Durrell, the victorious Caleb Plant, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate y'all coming out today. I appreciate the support for the fight. And, um, you know, me and my team, we did exactly what we want to do. Stay patient. You know, don't listen to the crowd. If they start, you know, give you up and doing this, doing that, just stay disciplined, stay focused, stick to the game plan. That's what we did. And then, boom, good night. So, uh, appreciate y'all. Any questions? Again, Larry, Dr. Floyd Sports, uh, you showed great patience. Could you tell us when you thought you might be able to score that left hook and tell us about the knockout itself? Um, you know, I'm into some nice right hands, some nice left hooks, and uh, I know it's coming at some point. It's just about staying patient, like I said, sticking to the game plan, and um, staying zeroed in. That's what we did. There was a lot of talk during that fight. What were the last things you exchanged during the ninth round before things really, really wrapped up with the bang? Um, I can't really remember specifically. Not too crazy. Just some bit of back and forth. So. Caleb. Uh, you exchanged words with, uh, I think that was Jamal Charlo there. You guys kind of had a little talk back and forth. Uh, what was it that you guys said you wanted to share that with us? I just let him know it was easy. That's all. He couldn't do nothing with me. From round one, I mean, it was a complete shutout. He couldn't really touch me. And um, I was doing what I wanted to will until, uh, until he went to sleep. Yo, Caleb, uh, you were doing a whole lot of things during the course of that fight. What did you see in... Um, Durrell's defense that kind of like, you know, set up those shots, especially the double up at the end? Um, you know, fans can be a lot of stars. So, you know, we do a lot of things in boxing. We try to, you know, stick to the art of boxing. And um, that's what we did tonight. Use our fans, use the jab, use the ring. And um, I did a little bit of everything, touch the body. And, um, you know, like I said, I've been saying, just sticking to the game plan. Was explosive. How would you rank that knockout in your career? Um, I'd say it'd be the best knockout of my career. And knock out of the year. Okay, well, we know you want to fight anybody. It doesn't really matter. But you know, the ball is there for it. So if you know Benavidez, Charlo, Terrell, who would be like the number one guy in the whole fight night? Um, any of them, honestly, you know, with the time off that I had out of the ring, I could have came back after the Canelo fight and had a sparring session of a match. But uh, I know I couldn't get the biggest fight right away after a loss. But I wanted to make the biggest fight possible for y'all, for the fans, for my career, for my legacy. And um, this is the biggest fight that we can make coming off of a loss. And uh, moving forward, I want to continue to make the biggest fights that are possible and keep picking the super middleweights off one by one. Hey, uh, can you speak a little bit? You, you, you were talking in the lead up to the fight, just I mean, you know, how much that uh, Darrell was talking, how much you heard all the comments from the uh, you know fans talking about your power, yes. talking about white boy comments. You just yeah. you seem very vindicated after the fight. Can you speak to just that sense of vindication and, and satisfaction? Uh, yeah, you know, just reiterating what you said. He had a lot to say about me, you know, calling me a lot of names, talking about, the, you know, my race, what I'm able to do. You know, I ain't never fought nobody. I ain't never, you know, hurt nobody. Well, I fought him and I hurt him. So, you know, like I said in the ring, uh, skin color don't win fights. You know, what well, wasn't here wins fights and what's in here wins fights. And um, that's what we did. If you had to self-assess your performance tonight, who did you love the most and what do you want to do better next fight? Um, I feel like I, I did great. You know, again, I hardly got touched with anything. It was a complete shutout until I dropped him. And, um, but, you know, just can, continuing to smooth the edges of my game. Um, I'm, I feel like, uh, you know, I really stick to my craft. I got a great team with Breadman. You know, this is my first fight with Breadman. He works with, great with my dad, Coach Wade, you know, the whole team, Jordan, my wife. And, um, you know, I work really hard for this moment. So we're just going to, you know, uh, rest a little bit, enjoy the holidays, and then get right back to work, continue to smooth the edges, and um, just keep moving forward. Caleb, can you just take me into the celebration there at the end with the shovel and just, just tell me what that means and, and why you decided that was what you wanted to do in that moment? I was just burying the beef between us, that's all. <laughs> 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 With all the derogatory remarks at the beginning, and then it followed into the ring, he was trying to take you out of your uh, discipline with all the rough out tactics. How hard was it for you to keep your discipline in there? Uh, not hard at all. You know, I'm a professional. I've been doing this for a long time at a high level. Um, I'm a Golden Globe National Champion. I'm an Olympic alternate, a former world champion. And um, with only 23 fights, you know, I stepped up early in my career to fight for a world title as an underdog. And, um, you know, I got a lot of amateur experience, international experience. So, you know, it just comes with the territory. It's just about staying, you know, remaining focused, remaining disciplined, 
And um, that's what we did. There's nothing, uh, you know, like I told y'all in the lead up to the fight, there's nothing you can do that's going to pull me out of my game plan, pull me out of my zone. And um, that's what we did. That's what I did. It must have been what a rush for that knockout punch you had to do, huh? It felt all right. <laughs> Caleb, 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 what did you learn from the Canelo fight that you used towards Anthony? Um, besides, you know, I don't know about one specific thing, but uh, most importantly, just the experience. You know, uh, you can't buy experience, you can't borrow, you gotta go through the fire to get it. And um, I did that, and I feel like I did that with Grace. I went out on my shield. Um, I didn't just come for a check. I come, I laid it all, all out on the line. And, um, you know, it was a good experience, and now I've gotten to, you know, take that experience with me into these other big fights. And, um, you know, experience is priceless, and it, it, it paid off tonight. Hey, hey look, you, you, you received some criticism. Fight, huh? Can you take us back to the moment when you landed the body shot uh, we've heard fighters say before that time kind of slows down before you land that KO punch. What was the moment like before you landed the punch that ended the bout? Um, you know, I noticed him, uh, how he's reacted to my punches, some things that he was doing, and um, I was just taking inventory. Uh, like I said before, remain, remain patient and calm and discipline. And um, again, just taking inventory of how he's reacting and what he was doing, and um, just playing chess, knowing, knowing how he was going to react and setting the shot up.